Oh, you probably thought I was joking, didn't you? I was scouring the internet looking for the most complex forms I could find that were built in PDF just so I could use it as a demo and kind of show off what a PDF could do. What I found instead was a blast of the past. The results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe! Let me explain. Now this may come as something of a shock to you, but I am and have always been something of a nerd. <laughs> you serious? And some of my best memories as a kid was playing the game Dungeons and Dragons. Now, if you've never heard of it, it's a fantasy style tabletop role playing game. It consists of paper character sheets and you would use a pencil and fill it all in to create your character. And then we'd all get together and it's basically like sharing a story and we would use dice to determine the outcome of random events. Now the game is a lot of fun, but making characters, uh, that would sometimes be an all day event. So we had our book and it was a hardcover book and we would take it to the local hardware store where they had a coin operated copier. And you would put the book on the copier, hit the button, put in the coins and it would kick out your character sheets. I don't know if you've ever put a hardcover book on a flat copier, but it always like bends in. So the paper would always have that, like that weird curve to it. Just crack the spine, fold it over just like that. And then you can just see the entirety of the page. Now on top of that, of course, we all had atrocious handwriting. How can you read this? And you know, we're dealing with handwriting. You can only fit so much information on a page. So some of us would have these character sheets that would be like seven, eight, 10 pages long. Later on in the nineties, uh, when PDFs came about, we found out that we could go to the official game page and download character sheets that were PDFs. And of course, when you printed those out, they were clean, they were sharp, uh, no more weird curvy edges, no more wrecking the books and you know destroying the spines, trying to smash them down onto the copiers. So that as a start was really helpful. But shortly thereafter, we started to learn that you could make fillable PDFs. You could create these form fields and actually fill out your character sheet right on the computer. It changes everything. This changes nothing. Now that was a game changer. Once we started filling it out uh, on the actual sheet, suddenly everything was very clean. You know, you could read all of the stats and because it was typed instead of handwritten, we could fit a lot more information on one sheet. So now instead of 10 pieces of paper, it would just be one, or maybe it'd be one, you know, double-sided. So that alone was pretty impressive. And then we took it a step farther. We have technology. We discovered that in a PDF form, in each of those fields, you could customize those fields. You could turn them into formulas. You could actually put in information and have that information affect other fields. You could put in drop-down menus and radio buttons and, well, you know what? Rather than explain it like this, let me just show you. It's amazing after all this time, this still looks the way I remember it from the 90s. Now I'm sure this has been greatly enhanced since the 90s. And of course, I'm gonna have links to everything down in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Regardless if you're a gamer or not, this is still really impressive. So with each of my stats, when I put in my numbers, you'll see it's calculating and affecting other fields. So already it has saved me the trouble of having to go to the book, open it and find all the different charts or do math. Tough guys don't do math. Tough guys deep fried chicken for a living. All right, let's, let's go ahead and use some of these drop down menus and fill out the rest of our character sheet. And we'll say my totally cool character carries a, a bow and arrow. So I'll carry some arrows. I'll carry 12 arrows, that seems to be fair. <laughs> Look at that. It actually X's out the arrows that I'm not using to give me 12. So if I were using this interactively, I could just click on an arrow when I use it. I'd have to come up with a character name and I am awful at coming up with creative names. Uh, let's go to my AI assistant. Ooh, there's some fancy names. I'll, uh, I'll take that one, copy and paste. I don't even know if I can pronounce that. Ooh, here's one. My character can cast the spell 
fireball. Uh, but I can't remember how much damage it does. Uh, you know, let's go back over to my AI assistant. How much damage does a fireball do in D&D 5? Awesome, there's everything I need to know about my fireball spell. So I will just copy that and paste it right in there. Perfect, done. All right, I'm gonna come over here to my tools and turn off my highlight fields. You see, I made some updates and tried to make the character a little bit more realistic to what I might have actually created when hanging out with my friends. You don't have any friends. And most of what you're seeing here, uh, I didn't really have to figure out. I didn't have to look it up. It was all built into the PDF already. I just selected from uh, different drop downs. I clicked a couple of buttons and I've just put in my basic stats and it did the rest for me. It even has this page where I can click here to add a character portrait. So I just click this button. Oh, let's set any image file as my portrait and then I can browse, find my file and upload. And there it is. Now I've got a really cool portrait of my character. Now these days, games like this, they have these different uh, subscription programs that you can uh, subscribe to, and it has like all of these really neat features that allows you to build characters a lot like what you're seeing here. Uh, some of them have even more features than this, but those are usually full-on applications. You know, those are complete programs that were built to create sheets. I did this just with a PDF. Now I know what you just saw was for a game, and it's probably a game that not everybody plays, but I really wanted you to see what was possible with a PDF, like the drop down menus, the radio buttons, the formulas, the calculations, all the things that a PDF can do. Whether it's for your business and you want to be able to have downloadable PDFs for your customers, or let's say you want to have PDF forms for your employees. You want them to be able to fill out certain things and you want them to be able to select from a drop down menu. You can do all of that right inside of a PDF. All you need is a good PDF editor. And with that, of course, I'm talking about Foxit PDF Editor. <laughs> Link in the description below. Now to answer your immediate questions, yes, I absolutely still play Dungeons and Dragons to this day, and yes, I usually was the dungeon master for those. And yes, I still use PDF character sheets. You, you can't beat the classics. I'm old school. But that's what I found for the most complex PDF form I've ever seen or ever used. But I'd like to hear from you. Make sure you put some comments down there. Let me know what is the most complex or most interesting PDF form or PDF file you've ever used. Would you be interested in learning how to create PDF forms like this for yourself? If we get a few people who are interested in actually learning how to build a interactive PDF form uh, with a lot of different complex features, uh, maybe we'll put together like a webinar or something. Get a bunch of people together and have like a like an online class. You know, I'd be up for that. But you got to let me know in the comments so I know that there's some interest. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, be sure to click that little like button. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell for alerts so you'll know when we upload more videos like this. I'm Charles from Foxit. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you. And we'll see you in another video. Take care.